three days before we can welcome the Christ child into our world, the church, through the readings chosen for this Sunday, invites us to reflect on what we will do when the Christ child comes. In the first reading of today, from the book of Isaiah, we are told that God will give Ahaz a sign. And the sign that God gives Ahaz is that a maiden is with child. In a clear reference, Matthew has taken this maiden with child to mean the virgin mother Mary. Matthew has used this verse of Isaiah to realize that his own Lord born of Mary is the one whom Isaiah predicted eight centuries ago. This prophecy of Isaiah where the maiden would give birth to a male child was fulfilled in the Virgin Mary giving birth to her son Jesus which is the gospel text of today. In the gospel text we are told about the dream which Joseph has. Joseph is betrothed or engaged to Mary. When a man was betrothed or engaged to a woman, they never came to live together until after the marriage. The man stayed in his home, the woman stayed in her home. And even as Joseph slept in his own home, he has a dream. And in that dream, he is told that his betrothed, the one who he had to marry or would marry, is pregnant with child by the Holy Spirit. And Joseph wonders what message this can be. And Joseph is confused. And Joseph is even alarmed and wonders how this is possible. However, even though Joseph is righteous and his first instance because he is righteous to debose his wife but because he is also just and loving, he wants to debose her quietly. The angel has other plans. God has other plans. And Joseph, even though he is righteous, even though he is a man of the law, will not let the law come in the way of love will not let the law come in the way of God's plans, which are much beyond the law. And so Joseph is able, because of the fact that he is a man who loves, to love God, and then take his betrothed, who is pregnant, to be his wife. The child is born, and Joseph is told that the child is to be named Jesus, and given another name, which is Immanuel, the name which was given by Isaiah to the child to be born eight centuries ago, but born now in Jesus, a name which means God with us. The choice of these two names, Jesus and an expansion in Immanuel, God with us, is an indication that our God first. It's not a God up in the heavens. Our God in Jesus wanted to make himself like one of us in every single way. By choosing this common name Jesus, Jesus not only wanted to be a human, he wanted to be as common as anyone else. However, even as the name is chosen and even as the expansion of that name is given, we are given an insight into the kind of God we are going to welcome this Christmas season. Our God in Jesus is not only Saviour, which he is primarily, but our God in Jesus is also a God who is with us, who is for us, and who is in us. In other words, if God lives in me, as Paul says 
in the second reading of today, in the introduction of the letter to the Romans, that we are now called to proclaim that gospel. And the gospel which Paul proclaims to the Romans and which we are called to proclaim to those who have never heard about Christ is that we must continue to reveal this Jesus to the world. We reveal him to the world in two ways. First, we reveal him as unconditional, as unfathomable love, a God who forgives before we sin, a God who forgives after we sin, a God who forgives even when we are in the act of sinning. And second, a God who is not far away from us, a God who is not in the heavens, but a God who is in our hearts, who is in us. Amen.